Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I am going to demonstrate something quite disgusting, uh, nasty, but I'm pretty sure if you have male or boys uh, within your family, you're probably having the same issue. Um, so I'm talking about urine on the wall and I'm using a ultraviolet um, black light to expose the uh, urine on the wall. So I'm going to turn off the light right now and show you what I'm talking about. So now we are completely dark and I am going to turn on the light and um, hopefully you guys can see all those splatter on the wall. You take a look at that. You see all those uh, bright spots those are urine on the wall and let me see if there's any on the floor yep quite a bit so we have a quite a bit of a problem here and I'm gonna show you um, how to take care of this um, it is not as easy as you think. You can't just wipe it with water. Uh, what you need to do is uh, actually use hydrogen peroxide and I'm going to show you how that's done. Okay, so I'm going to be using a 3% hydrogen peroxide topical solution. Topical simply means that this is not for you to uh, ingest or eat. This is something that you should use on the surface. Um, like on your skin, um, on the countertops, as a cleaner basically. So um, what we're going to do is just, uh, we're going to spray uh, all the areas that is affected. So I'm going to get this <coughs> toilet paper out of the way. And as you guys have seen in the uh, ultraviolet light, uh, all of these areas are affected. So just shake it and spray. Deliberately and, and quite making sure you, you're covering a lot of surfaces, all, all the surface where you where we found that uh, that to be an issue. There was a lot back here, as I remember, all around the toilet seats, and a little bit more. Okay, I remember along the baseboard it was tons. So just make everything wet and let it work for about five minutes. All right, more than a few minutes have passed, uh, probably about five minutes. And uh, now I'm ready to, uh, to do the cleanup. And what I'm gonna do is just, uh, I'm going to wet it some more. And once I wet it some more, um, I'm gonna start with the wall. So I'm gonna start with the high area first, the walls, and work myself downwards. Um, on the wall, I'm going to be using a uh, an old uh, t-shirt that I'm not using anymore. I'm using this as a rag, so I'm going to be wiping all the walls. Uh, the reason I'm not using paper towels because paper towel will break, as these are textured walls, and the t-shirt work much better. Uh, just keep in mind that uh, um, work on a particular area first. For example, I'm going to be using this section on the top and then working myself to the bottom and then once I switch to the other side I'm actually going to flip the t-shirt inside out and then start working uh, so the purpose of that is uh, so that you don't spread the um, uh, I guess um, bad stuff or urine around um, as, as you are cleaning up and uh, the bottom area the baseboards I'm going to be using paper towel because the, the surface is smooth and that's fine using paper towel. I'm also going to be cleaning up around the toilet using paper towel as well. So I'm going to be wetting it again. So the uh, hydrogen peroxide should have worked in the last uh, uh, five minutes or so. But the reason I'm wetting it again is so that um, I'll get a, a better clean as uh, or better cleaning process as I'm wiping it down I want it to be wet so it, it will actually pick up more bad stuff so I'm just going to be working it like that
around the paper towel holder. Okay. All right, so I got the uh, walls clean using the t-shirt already. Now I'm going to go after the baseboards. So again, I'm wetting it again and going in now with the paper towel. And the paper towel is gonna to be disposed of. So as soon as I'm done with the paper towel, I'm just going to put them in the plastic bag right away to make sure that uh, I'm keeping everything clean. Again, working from the top down is really what I'm trying to accomplish here. And then disposing it and go with another paper towel, a brand new one. Okay, don't do the floor yet, just do the baseboard or the base molding for now. Next, I'm going to be cleaning the toilet itself. Again, it's a smooth surface, so I'm just going to wet it. And then I am going to use the paper towel to clean it. Okay, so I'm done cleaning the commode. Now I am going to go to the floor. And uh, again, I'm wetting it first. And then I'm going to wipe it with a paper towel. There is this area here, right next to the commode, that is a cabinet. I bet you there's a lot of urine splash there. Let's turn off the light and see how much we have. Not that bad, but at the same time, it is not that clean. So we're gonna clean this up right now. Okay guys. We're just about done right now. I have wiped all this area here, the walls all the way to here, and cleaned the commode completely, all with hydrogen peroxide. I didn't use any other chemical. Um, so this is supposed to be uh, quite safe. And um, I think everything is a lot cleaner, but uh, let's turn off the light and check it with the uh, UV light. All right, so you can definitely tell um, where the areas was um, here. It was full of splatter right now. You can see streaks where I wiped it down. And so it's over there. Wow, look at that. The baseboard or the base molding definitely is looking a lot better. There's barely anything on the floor. Oh, look at that. There's some material there that is glowing. I'm pretty sure I cleaned that material or that area. Wow, you see that I missed that part right there? So you can definitely see the parts that is so different. So I need to clean that part a little bit more. These are the part that I wipe. Oh, there's quite a bit of areas there on the corner that I probably need to clean some more. Look at the difference on this cabinet. This cabinet was splattered by urine, but now it's just completely clean. All right, let's take a look at the commode. Yeah, the commode definitely looks quite clean. There are some areas here that is just a little bit of splatter here and there. You see that area there? That used to be pretty nasty, but now it looks just gleaming clean. Yeah, looking quite good actually. That part there is probably some kind of building material. Yeah, overall looks good. 
cleaning with the uh, hydrogen peroxide definitely works. I am going to go into those areas where still need to have a little bit of cleaning and uh, get it finished up. So I hope you um, find this video useful. This is cleaning with hydrogen peroxide to get rid of urine using UV light. If you want to get this UV light uh, on Amazon, it's really cheap. I think I got it for about $15. And uh, you can use it uh, as a black light to have fun. I use it to detect blood or urine and it works really well. Uh, I'm going to put the link in the description. I would appreciate if you use my link. It helps this channel. Uh, if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Oh, you can't see my thumb. But anyway, uh, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friend who may find this content useful. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you find this kind of content useful. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself videos like these and support my channel. Thank you.